Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video. Get yourself a free audiobook and two Audible originals with a free 30-day trial at audible.com slash domics or text domics to 500-500. What constitutes a crush? Is it just being like thinking someone is attractive, or someone you could env envision being in a relationship with? I think you're just infatuated with the idea of them. The idea of them? Because you don't really know them, so it's hard to say the real them. Until you I won't lie, I've had a lot of crushes where it's like I think they're attractive, and then they said like one thing that vibes with me well, and then I just based everything off of them. <laughs> so yeah, gotta, gotta gotta marry her. <laughs> I don't know, I need a fact check on the definition of crush. Because I associate crushes with something crushes. I associate crush. <laughs> <laughs> a brief but intense infatuation for intense. someone. Especially someone unattainable, unattainable or inappropriate. Mm. Whoa, wait, what? Especially someone unattainable or inappropriate? What does that mean? Actually, that kind I, of I don't know sense. why they said that. Like yeah, infidelity? No, no, I think it's like, you know, no, no, no. You know when you're like a kid and you're like a loser and you have a crush a on the loser. hot girl in school? Me. Uh, not to break your shell, but I was a cool kid. Oh, um, no, that's right. I'm not. I forgot you I got every not, girl in every video cool. you made. I was not cool. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. The whole series. It's called breakups. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't get them. That's the point. I didn't. <laughs> let's say, let's say you're having like relationship troubles, and you have two friends. Or actually, no, not two friends. You're introduced to two people who are like strangers. One has been in one relationship, and the other has been in ten. Who do you ask advice from? Just off that? Maybe the one, because maybe yeah. the ten failed ten times and can't yeah. get it right. I, okay, what's the what's the duration, though? Like, are these people the same age, and like, is each relationship like a long period of time? They are like your age, and one of them has been in one relationship that lasted one year, and the other guy has been in ten that lasted varying len lengths, I guess. I need to ask the dude what his ratio is between dumper and dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. There's the too numbers. many variables here. Yeah. Like, I need to know, like, what... Like, if every girl broke up with him, I'm not going to take advice yeah, from him. All right. Yeah. Nine of them dumped him, and one of them he dumped. How long was that one? Was that, like, a week or, or like, a couple years? That's what I need to know. Yeah, like... <laughs> I would just ask both. I'm just going to ask the one. All right, look. Like, <laughs> the one for one year seems like a lot more. Because he that person was selective. Like, he didn't just, you know, get with ten people. He chose one. What, what makes you think that? What do you mean? What makes you think he selectively chose one? Okay, maybe he just couldn't get anyone. So maybe the person <laughs> yeah, exactly. with ten. <laughs> what if he's just a loser? <laughs> or maybe the one one guy didn't get around to getting the rest of the nine relationships yet. <laughs> Actually, I think I would ask the dude with the ten. Jokes aside, like you could still learn from people's mistakes too. Is the yeah. Thing. You could also learn from his bad advice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. I could. I'd be like, you, that is horrible advice. Thank you. I'm not going to do <laughs> anything you did. <laughs> what is the most convenient way? you'd like to confess to someone um the most convenient way is to have them confess and then you just say i concur <laughs> i agree i too share those feelings it seems we are in agreement <laughs> there was this one time i confessed to a girl in high school and i like took her hands like away from like the group that we were hanging out with i was just like i like told her my feelings I was like hey i really like you know i like i'd like to be your boyfriend or something like that i don't remember what i said and then she looked at her our friends and then she pulled her hands out of my hands what she did she just didn't say anything and she ran back to the group of friends or she was really awkward she's like oh okay i see because she was afraid that the friends would see us and then she like ran back to the group of friends i was like well fuck me i got i got rejected and then the next day she was like trying to hold my hand she's like hey aren't we dating now i was like what do you mean what <laughs> <laughs> i thought you rejected me she's like oh no it's just embarrassed I didn't want the friends to see us holding hands. I was like, oh, was like, oh, I see. It's one of those. I broke up with that girl immediately after that. <laughs> okay, so perfect, perfect relationship, but you can never win a race. Yeah, I take the perfect relationship. Holy fuck. Or non-perfect relationship, but you win every race. I think you get. And every time you win that race, it's like maximum hormones. <laughs> Endorphins. <laughs> yeah, but no maximum. Like okay, wait. So if I take the if I take the um, the win every race one, does that mean that there's no hope for me having a good relationship in the future? Or uh, no, like your relationships are just regular, you know, textbook. No, I think I'd find more enjoyment with a person than I would in racing. Because keep in mind, I can only race for so long. Like physically, like you can't keep it up. Okay, but I'm giving you the parameters that you get first every time. <laughs> yeah, but winning isn't the point of racing to me. Like, it's just the result of being a good driver. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're that good of a driver. I'm saying you get first as a result of being a good driver. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still take the be second every time and be 
happy in a relationship than be first every time and have a mediocre room. You're last. Or you get every last time. every time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta break this man. <laughs> you get dead last. Eddie, no matter how many racers there are, there's like 64 oh. racers. You get last. Your car breaks down at the end, and you gotta walk home. <laughs> But you have the perfect love. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. She'll pick you up. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually okay with that. I'd rather have the perfect love <laughs> and be last every time. Because the reason I, I want to get into racing and driving is for myself. I'm not doing it to win and to be recognized. Like, um, but I think something psychological will happen to you for losing every single race you go to. But if I, it'll affect you. You'll be like, what's wrong with me? Why am I? Like, if I lost every single time, but I went home. To the love of my life, I'd be okay with that. But then there's a point in your life where you you got to think you're leaving the love of your life to go lose just to come back. So then you'd be like, do I want to even race anymore? <laughs> do I want to lose today? <laughs> Aren't you the one to say, like, don't depend on someone for your happiness? No, I, and you're right. But I'm just saying that, like, for me, like, I can find enjoyment in other things. It's not like I'm locked into racing for the rest of my life. So if you're telling me, like, I can be happy regardless of whatever I'm into versus just losing in this one thing that I'm competing in, like, that to me is a lot smaller than... You lose in everything you like. <laughs> Alright, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, if it was everything... Oh, man, I'd, I'd still choose the perfect love. Uh, like in Smash, you just SD every stock because you're so trash. Yeah, like, because I can still find enjoyment in that on some level, so I don't mind. You, you're gonna enjoy killing yourself and playing 10 second games? That's fine. Not fun for anyone else. It's fine. <laughs> They're not gonna want to play with you. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. What kind of what kind of perfect relationships gonna enjoy you failing at everything? They're caring. That's the point. Is it's perfect, so they wouldn't care. You're bad at everything you do, but she's amazing. What's the win here then? Like, what do you want me to? I'm, I'm not making you win. I'm throwing you in situations and having you react. You think this is about you finding victory? Okay, then yeah, I guess logically the, the better decision is just to be first every time in whatever I do and then I'll just be alone because I wouldn't want to settle for a mediocre relationship. Mm. Like, I want both. To me, that's, that's the actual answer. I like that answer. Yeah. Like, I'm comfortable being alone, so I don't need someone else to validate it so i'd rather be alone uh -huh. and have accomplishments than mm. be in a mediocre relationship mm. are you happy <laughs> <laughs> is this what you wanted <laughs> sick i'm just, I'm just that chaotic neutral man it's holding a vial under your tears and just trying to fill up your cry yes yes be alone yes <laughs> Speaking of being alone, I know a lot of you are stuck being alone with all that's happening in the world right now. If you're extremely bored, or even if you're just playing Animal Crossing right now, how about listening to some audiobooks? With Audible, you guys can enjoy audiobooks whenever and wherever you want. And right now, by wherever, I mean wherever in your house where, where you're safe and not at the beach with thousands of other people. And even if you don't want to listen to them right now, they're yours to keep forever, even if you cancel your membership. But if you stick around, you get three credits every month, which you can spend on one audiobook and two Audible originals, regardless of the price. This time, I'm gonna recommend to you guys 12 Rules of Life by Jordan Peterson. During this time of isolated contemplation, I figured it'd be a good listen for a lot of you guys. Again, visit audible.com slash domics or text domics to 500, 500 and start listening with a 30-day Audible trial with a free audiobook and two Audible originals. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>